So part two of the pond project. I have this lovely whiskey barrel hidden away at the back of the garden. As I'm a bit of a whiskey lover, it's actually a water barrel. So I'm actually gonna move it next to my pond because it seems such a shame to have it tucked away out of sight. So I've moved my whiskey barrel to where I want it. And instead of having unsightly drainage pipes going into it for the water, I've just simply drilled a hole A rather nice gold funnel in it, and that should be enough just enough because it actually fills up on its own without anything, just water seeping in the cracks. That should be enough to just keep it topped up. So, yeah, next job is to bed my plants in. So today I've been working on the electrics over in the shed and I'll be connecting the pump up soon. The pump and filter. When buying gravel for your pond I always go for the trade bags at the builder centre because they're half the price as what a garden centre will charge you uh, for more or less the same stuff. So you really need to give it a good wash and wash all the silt off it. So I'm starting to plant out on this ledge now. I'm gonna use a little bit of driftwood just to help them bed in. This one's ready to come out. It's actually trying to escape from the pot. ready for coming out. <laughs> Thank you. 
so in this corner. Uh, Teddy's put his shark in. I love this one, it looks like bamboo. It's really interesting that one. Uh, I'll try and get this one at the front as well. So gently ease it out. Like I said before previously, make sure you wash your gravel. You see there's a sediment. There's always a little bit of sediment that comes off. Uh, and it come, there's a bit, bit of soil in the water now as well, but that will settle. And once we get the filter work, filter working, and get these leaves out, there's always leaves. Always leaves. those at that corner there and some drip wood there's a mixture of 10 mil and 20 mil stones in that corner there and we'll get something for that corner there and so you can see what I've planted that gives you some idea how they're gonna flower and the names of them if you want to buy similar Okay, and I also built, well, not built, I made a path to around the back. Just a simple gravel path and slabbed. And this is where I'm going to house the filter. I've got some electrics here now. They're obviously not connected. Uh, obviously the cables, cables there, waiting to be installed. And I've just ordered a, a, another socket with a timer so I don't want my pump working 24 7 um, I'm gonna have it off for a few hours so we've got my pump out which is by my reckoning probably about 20 years old so be interested to see if it still works. It's only been stored in a cupboard um, from two houses ago when I had a pond. So I'm gonna take it apart because it sounds like it's got some gravel inside. And I'm going to drill through the bottom and 
anchor it to a paving slab to, to stop it from floating up because if I remember rightly uh, it did used to float to the top there's not that much weight to it that's if it works um, we'll see so I'm going to take it apart and have a look so what I thought was uh, gravel is actually dried silt there isn't actually much to it so take this to the bin get it emptied and then get it weighed down so I've now anchored down the pump and I've gone for the house brick option because I thought it would give some height from the bed of the pond so it won't draw in silt from the bottom it'll uh, that, that height there should help it just drag in water rather than silt so yeah let's put it in and see if it works so the hose has arrived let's get it open it's a five meter hose I'm hoping that'll be enough Good. I'm going to sight the pump over in this corner here. I'm going to tidy up the hoses and the cables now. So I've attached the hose to the spillway, and for those who've been following, you'll realise there's no filter box well there will be one it's on order the one I need is on order and I'm collecting that from um, a friend's pet shop very soon uh, so that's going to be part three where I'm going to um, look at planting some more plants and stocking it with fish and I've see, seen some really beautiful uh, butterfly koi um, I'm only going to have a few koi because it's only a small pond but I'm going to sort of try to stock it with a variety of fish but yeah moment of truth to see if the old 20 year old pump still works um, and the moment is also the electric's not working yet because I'm still waiting for a, um, a timer socket as I mentioned before so let's see and do this one handed, so excuse me. And do we have power? So, the 20 year old pump, as I thought, doesn't work. So I'm gonna to have to order a new one. So you're gonna to have to wait to part three to see it working. Anyway, like and subscribe for part three. Thanks for watching.